Welcome back folks, Colin here from Commerce Gurus part 5 uh, WPML Adrenaline install and configuration tutorial. So we left off just by setting up our home pages for French and Spanish. What we're going to do now is just take you through some of the additional WPML configurations that are required for WooCommerce. This is a WooCommerce theme after all. Um, so let me just go back down. I don't think we actually installed, we did not install the WooCommerce multilingual uh, plugin so that's actually available via the repository so you don't need to install that and download that um, so just search for WPML uh, WooCommerce let's see if that gets us there we may need to adjust this yeah so it's this guy here just in case you're not sure or it's on the go system so install that Should only take a brief moment. So, this plugin is really necessary if you're using WooCommerce uh, with, with WPML. It does and makes a life your life a lot easier. Um, and you'll see, actually, now we're just being prompted for immediately on activation, or being prompted to update translations for. Uh, French, which we will take force trans update translation, um, which is always my preferred route. And we'll do the same for English. Always good to keep those up to date. Some reason it's not uh, updating right now. Um, oh, I guess because we're already on English. So let's just hide that for now. So where do we want to go? First thing you want to do is go to. Now we've installed the WooCommerce add-on. Let's go into WooCommerce Multilingual. So you'll see plugin status. Got all key required plugins installed. So, first warning here, and this is a really common problem we see time and time again. Your product permalink base is not translated for French and Spanish. The URLs are translated for also not work. So, these need to be done. This is a very, very common problem. You have to do this. So, we click on translations like before. And I'm just going to, again, for the purposes of this tutorial, add in just strings to show. This has been translated. You'll want to enter the correct values, of course. And that's complete. So let's head back into WooCommerce Multilingual. Uh, okay, you've also we're also missing pages. We're also missing translations for the key WooCommerce store pages, which is correct. And WPML has now set those. The next thing you're going to want to do, and this is really important again, is ensure that all your product categories and your tags have translations. So you'll see that each of your product categories are presented in English, and then you have the ability to quickly add French and Spanish strings for each uh, category. This is something that's really important to do, same for your tags. Let me just show you briefly um, on one of our other installations, where we've already completed this task. You'll see What happens when you're finished is you'll have Spanish, in this case here, for categories. Spanish have already translated, French have not. Same for product categories. 
and just while we're in our other version here, you can also see we've done the same for some a selection. As you can see, this is a time consuming task, folks, so you need to leave yourself plenty of time to do this. You need to do the same for tributes, such as in this case, uh, we have seasons, we have colors, and we have sizes. So you'll need to go through and translate each of those. So th the beauty of the WooCommerce um, add-on for WPML is it's specifically pulling together an interface over um, a lot of what are effectively custom post types within WooCommerce and presenting it in a an easy as possible manner uh, for you to translate quickly. Okay, so once you've that complete, let's just dip back into our fresh install here. We'll go back to general settings. And the other thing you're going to want to do is set up currencies. So for the purposes of our demonstration, and you'll see it's quite clever in that it presents um, currencies for each of the uh, country flags that you've selected. So I'm just going to show you um, how we've set this up for our demonstration purposes here. So we default as dollars. And you can see it's quite clever in that it'll actually let you decide and determine what currencies to present within which language you're presenting on the site. So for example, here, when I'm on the English content, I can see uh, in euros, pound sterling, Swedish krona, um, and the same for Spanish and French. If I wanted, uh, for whatever reason, um, Spanish people to not be able to see Swedish krona, which might make sense, I can switch that off. I can do the same for pound sterling. So it's a very configurable interface. Um, again, you want to spend some time actually setting it up and reading the documentation in detail. You've got, you can set your order, um, which will default to your primary currency. And then we again, we recommend that you actually display this horizontally. For the moment, we've actually just set up code and symbol. So it presents in this way, which I think is our recommended solution. And then to actually then add that to your site, you're going to want to go in and add a widget, again up in the top left position. And in this case, for this particular widget, we had a text widget, and we simply enter the currency switcher shortcode. You'll see just above that, we also have our language switcher added to the top two bar left, which will then give you. Your currency switcher here and your language switchers here.